that my golden chance is far behind. There's a side to Edinburgh we don't usually see during the festival. The lives of homeless people in the grass market area have been woven by them into a play and the actors are the homeless themselves. The action mirrors their own experiences in hostels, muggings, the passing round of a girlfriend for sex and other brutal incidents. The director, Jeremy Weller, and a handful of professional actors have had to deal with a volatile cast, with violence never far from the surface. The play, Glad, is unpredictable, raw, and the language will be offensive to some, but it's a true story. Yeah, I love you. Words wouldn't come in an easy way Round in circles I'd go Longing to tell you But afraid and shy I let my golden chances Far behind Soon you'll leave me And off you will go In the mist of day Never, never to know How I loved you if I loved you, loved you. Right. Action. <laughs> come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Right, come on, get over with. Say your goodbyes. Bye, Say your goodbyes. I'll, I'll miss Bye, you. Come you on, now. Give, come, come on. Bye, you can keep going. Come on, let's go. Bye. All right, come on. Bye, come on, let's get out of here. What then? Go on. What then? Richard, no, you've had a chance. I just want to speak to her for five minutes. She's gone out with my BM. Right, five minutes, five Richard. Minutes, five minutes, and out there with the car running. If there's any trouble, you're out. <coughs> Where are you going, Jesse? You're walking out of me. Long last, you're walking out of me. Where are you going? <coughs> you're on a slippery slope. I'm the only one holding you back. Can you see that? I've been like a father to you. I brought you up. Can you see that, JC? I love you. I feel embarrassed saying it in front of all them. I love you. Didn't walk out of me. Come on. JC, you listening to me? JC! You're not leaving me. JC, you're not leaving me. J you're not leaving! <laughs> Tell me you're not leaving! Tell me you're not leaving! I mean, when I first walked in and saw them all, I, I was guilty of thinking. <laughs> What am I going to do? I mean, it is frustrating sometimes because they don't cooperate the way professional actors would. But you just got to bite your tongue and count to ten. I was guilty of walking past people like Les, Terry, Francis in the street, thinking, you know, gutter material. But now, I mean, they're all we're all human. We're all one. Just because they don't have a butt house, you know. Had you ever done any acting before? No, no, no I've never done any acting before. But I, but I really enjoy it. I find it's very, very interesting to be in a show, actually. Are you a natural actor? Oh, dear me, no. Um, I've been a actor, but uh, off and on, but I've really acting the goat all the time, you know. In the play, Terry is the dormitory philosopher. The script varies each night, but the words are all his own. Now, you've seen this play. You've seen how these people can be. You have seen a turbulent evening in here. Doesn't happen absolutely every evening, you know. I can assure you, my dear, that we can be perfectly charming here at times. <laughs> if this were a play, we could end by summing up the characters. But that cannot be done here, not in this context, because we are living characters. We are living the part. We don't go home after a night out like no cards, private lives or anything like that, you know. <laughs> no, no, we're down here all the time. The experiences of the people that are in it, the homeless people, the people who have been homeless, make up the structure and the form of the play. So therefore, what, they, what they're acting out, they've lived. 
So there is this great knowledge they have because they're inside it. So of course they, they can advise me. You there is some always... guys <laughs> that mug you. They grab the knife. knife. Got the throat. You're not going to move. They say I'm going to rip you, and they say I don't believe it, and you stick it in the shoulder. Yeah, they will. They do. You know what I mean, right. the common thing now is a junkie will come up with you with a needle, and they'll say, "Give me what you've got, or you're getting injected, and I've got the virus." You know what I mean? Generally, I was a bit disillusioned with theatre, and so I wanted to um, probably go back to the basics of theatre. The shock of someone acting was revealed to me. The new, the newness, and the shock that should exist all the time when people act was there. Whereas I was going to the Royal Shakespeare Company in, pl in places like this in London, and I wasn't getting that shock. A reviewer came to see it, and he said that it was like theatre verite, rather than cinema verite. The boundaries between theatre and life, obviously they're highly interesting to anyone working in theatre, but I can't tell you where it begins and ends. We all get totally confused about whether we're on a scene or whether we're in life. Some professional actors are going to come up and help us out. Professionals, man. I knew it! What? I knew it! Professionals, you're going to get them in to take our place, ain't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. That's what you're going to do. I'm not. And you're, you're going to put them in in front of my, me and Nicky's place. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna take them here? No, I'm not gonna. I knew that you've been pulling the wheel with your eyes all this time. Look, I'm not pulling the wheel. You're not pulling the wheel with your eyes. Just, just because we're homeless, you think you can fuck us about? I'm not fucking you about. Well, you just kind of mess the homeless about. Look, right? I'm not exploiting you, okay? Why do you have to use your fists all the time? Why can't you use your head, huh? That's what we're trying to do here. Give you an alternative, huh? So I tell you a reason. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you a reason why people never work with people like you, okay? It's because you fuck people about as well. Because you think you've got the world on your shoulders, no one so else has. I've been world for years. Well, that's not my problem, is it? I can't help the way I've lived, just like you can't help the way you've lived, huh? I'd love to live your life. I'd just get into trouble if I've not got anything to do. You know what I mean? It'd be bored on that. Just go muck around with the wrong kind of people and get into fights and that, you know what I mean? And that's it, just drink drugs and prison. But now this has given me a new chance in life, you know what I mean? I can do what I want, you know what I can. If you weren't doing this, what would you be doing of a day? Uh, Drinking, you know, when I drink, cause I, you know, I've had a drinking problem, you know, and but since I've been doing this, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've really cut off the booze because I've been enjoying this. Do you understand? You know, I've, I've learned something about myself. You know, I mean, it's, you know what I didn't know. I'm only a young laddie. You know I mean, I've got a few years to come, and I just hope I didn't spend it in here. But what happens to some of these young fellows are they are absolutely quietly desperate, you know. There's an American philosopher naturalist called Soro. Maybe you've heard of him. And he said that most men live lives of quiet desperation. You know something? That guy was right. So what do you think people think about you, though? I think they just see us as a scum of the earth, you know what I mean? And this is a rightful place, a grass market. Is it difficult for people to get on? Some of our <clears throat> colleagues, Sethbian, shall we say, they tend to catcall and do things like that, you know. Uh, that's not discipline, you know. <laughs> Background music, yes, but not. We don't want Wagner, we want. You know what I mean? Ram. <laughs> Terry always says, I'm pushing him, I'm pushing him. But it's only because I know what's in there. Because he has a fantastic mind, he has a fan. He's, has, he's almost a kind of visionary person. And he's, he once said to me, he said, Jeremy, he said, what do you want to draw out of us? He said, it's something we don't even realise is there, he said. But you think it's there, he said. I wish you luck. Say, don't you remember, they called me out. It was out all the time. Say, don't you remember, I'm your pal. Brother, can you spare a dime? Brother, can you spare a dime?